Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jar Red Gaming. Welcome to Billy Masters Was Right. I don't know much about this game other than the fact that it looks super retro. This reminds me of like the old LucasArts point and click adventure games. Even the cursor <laughs> is reminiscent of those types of games and I love modern games in retro style. Let's just dive straight in. Like I don't know anything about it. I don't know what it's about. So let's find out. Oh, I love it. In other matters, the authorities still haven't been able to catch the killer of the elderly who has terrorized the county. The FBI is trying to create a psychological profile of this elusive serial killer. The only clue they have is a declaration of various witnesses who have seen a red Chevrolet panel from 1954 without the license plate parked near the house of his victims. <gasps> I've had enough. <laughs> I'm fed up with this station. Fed up with the punishment and having to spend all summer at home. Oh, are we grounded? <laughs> are we grounded? <gasps> Billy? Do I have to go upstairs again to remind you about it? I'm coming, Mom! Oh, that was Mom. I should have guessed. Damn it! Right click to look. Okay. Left click to interact. Okay. <sighs> look at it! Yes, it's so glorious. What is this? Options? Yes, yes. Oh god, that is an amazing feature. Speech always waits for the mouse click, which means that we will never run out of time reading text. That's an amazing feature. The neighborhood seems calm at this time of night. In fact, it's always like this anytime. We live in such a boring neighborhood. Ugh, drawers. Inside those drawers are books and high school stuff in the, in the middle one. I don't remember what's in there. <gasps> Maybe we should find out. Oh! <gasps> junk more junk wow at the back i can see an old spyglass my granddad gave to me when i turned 11 i thought i'd thrown it away well pick that shit up dude i'll take the spyglass nice we're already we're already acquiring inventory <laughs> look at that computer my parents have confiscated the screen and the power supply just when i was about to beat space quest 2 <laughs> hell yeah that sucks though that you can't finish it <laughs> Ooh, we got a video camera. Can I take it? <gasps> I'll take it. What? They confiscated my battery, too? I have malicious parents. Oh, man. So, well, we've got a spyglass and a video camera. It kind of seems like we're up to some, some no good. <laughs> no trace of my guitar or my... Well, at least there's my metal pick from Rita Rotten. I caught it when she threw it at the concert. I'm taking it. Oh, wow. We... We've picked up so much inventory just from in our room. Rule number one of point and click adventure games, wherever you start, look at everything. Pick up everything at all times. That way you don't have to come back and do it. So let's, oh, I wonder if we can use the spyglass in the window. Uh, <laughs> I have to clean it before, well then clean it. Use your shirt, dude. No, okay, let's just go. Let's see what mom wants. She's such a nag. Where are you going? I'm asking, where are you going? Where do you think I'm going? Lower your t lower your tone of voice with me, Billy. I'm not going to allow you to talk to me like that after everything you've done. You mean after everything I haven't done? Are you still on that? How long have you been grounded for? I lost count. You've lost... <laughs> What do you haven't lost is shame. Take that phone right now and call your teacher. Apologize to him. Then call the sheriff and apologize to him. What did we do? Anything else? Yes. Wipe that smirk off your face or I'll wipe it off for you. <laughs> and the conversation ends here. Can you see? That's the problem. The conversation always ends and I can't. I said it's over. Why? Always... Damn it, Billy! <laughs> Do you always have to have the final say? Ugh. Don't you have to take out the trash? Although that's something you should have done more than an hour ago. You have no time, right? <sighs> Gosh. Oh my goodness, he's really laying into us. Why don't you throw it? I was going to do it. Does it have to be now? I think we should just go with our obviously established rebellious nature. Why don't you throw it, old man? Don't go too far, Billy. I can see it's useless. What did I say? <laughs> All right. Who can I call? Let's call Mr. Brockman. 
I will call that pervert to apologize. What did he do? Ooh, I think we're missing some context. Maybe we shouldn't jump to apologize just because dad said so. What if the teacher is a dick? Linus, who's that? Is that our friend? Is that our best friend? No answer. Well, then don't, we won't call anyone, apparently. <laughs> More drawers. There's nothing there that interests you. Maybe there is. There isn't. And the conversation is over. Dad is a kind of a dick. Glass bowl. I can see the garage door opener among the keys. I'll take it. Oh, but we can just take the garage opener. Dad doesn't see that in his, you know, side eyes. Let's go in the kitchen. So you've deigned to come downstairs? The trash is in the bin. You know what you have to do. Thanks, Mom. I'm going to get some food first. Chicken leg. And... That's it. We're just gonna put a chicken leg in our pocket. We're gonna keep it for later. And I'm gonna slam the door over and over again. Over and over again until you love me! Microwave. No putting metal things inside. I didn't mean to do it. You said that the second time we had to buy a new one. I got a metal pick. I'm not gonna heat it up. <laughs> Fine. How about the chicken leg? I'm not going to, I mean, you don't have to eat, you don't have to heat up the chicken, but I mean, why not? Mom! I don't want to know anything until you take the trash out, dearie. Fine! We got the damn trash. Are you happy now, Mom? What's in this door? Don't bother yourself. Your things aren't there. Where are they? We've taken them to the junk room. It doesn't come cheap to us at all. But you'll be more expensive to us if you keep up this attitude. But I can enter the garage, or can't I? You know I forbid you from getting within 10 meters of the car. There you have your answer. And the conversation ends now, right, Dad? What a jerk. I got the garage opener. I'll just go in from outside. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> you can stand in front of the TV. <laughs> Come on! Will you stop passing in front of the TV? You're not watching it, you're reading a newspaper. I could do both things at the same time. Would you be capable of doing the same? I... It was a rhetorical question. Try not to do it again, will you? Fuck you, Dad. I'm talking to a brick wall. <laughs> Dad's a dick. Dad's a serious dick, but we don't really know that much about our character. Maybe our character's a dick, too. <laughs> oh, anything in the mailbox? There's a package inside. I'll take it. Nice. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Masters, we regret we regret the saw blades we sent you were not to your liking. As a compensation, we present with the new Mega Blade 3000 trademark, free of charge. We hope it lives up to your quality level. Your sincerely, Louis O'Hara. Wow. Whoa. The Mega Blade 3000 TM. I don't know. Beware of dog. Is he going to keep us from leaving? Do I need to put the chicken in the dog bowl? Arnold's not here. Okay, so maybe we need to save that for when our angry... Is everyone in our family, including our pet dog, just a jerk? Oh, shit. It can't be. Who? What? <gasps> a Chevrolet panel. The serial killer from 54. Is Dad a serial killer? Saw blades? He ordered saw blades. Without a license plate? Identical to the one the witnesses of the murder saw. I need to tell my parents. I don't think you should, dude. What? Have you gone mad? What is, what is all this shouting about? <laughs> listen, Helen. Listen to what your son is saying. For heaven's sake, what is your problem now, Billy? I think the Loomises are in danger, Mom. The killer of the elderly is in their house. Can you see? He's lost his mind. Billy. No, Mom, listen. Billy. What need have you got of that? Why do you have to get attention like this? There's a van without the license plate in the house of the Loomises. The same that the killer uses. Ed Loomis must have bought the same one. He's got a sick sense of humor like that. Fuck, Dad. Watch your mouth, Billy Masters. He's never had a car in his life. He doesn't even know how to drive. How many times did you have to give him a ride to church? He must be somebody else's car, someone who has come to visit. 
Shit, yeah, the killer of the elderly. It's over. We've given you a chance to think about your lies, and the first thing you do is make up a new one. The most absurd of all. You have to believe me. I'm not making anything up. Why do you think you're grounded, Billy? Do you want us to enumerate? Mr. Brockman surprised you smoking pot in the bathroom. And you're still denying it. Pot, you should hang your head in shame, son. I've told you 500 times I found out Harry was in the bathroom when I followed him trying to stop him. It's when Brockman came in. God, Dad, Mom, I'm innocent. That's the same day you can't think of anything better than taking revenge and going to the sheriff to accuse him of pedophilia? Pedophilia! Brockman! Shall I say that again? When I left the principal's office, I bumped into Brockman. Photos with kids from the sixth grade changing in the locker room fell out of his folder. The sheriff didn't find any of those photos. Right, because I told him I was going to report him. He had all the time he wanted to hire or burn them. Are you aware of the fact that you've tried to ruin a person's life to get your own way? Brockman is a pedophile, Dad. Why doesn't everyone insist on defending him? Belly, son. Can't you be a normal teenager? Yes, like Gilligan's son. Gilligan? But I don't like the way he's dressed. It's fashion, Peter. Don't be old-fashioned. Larry Gilligan is the one who sells pot in high school. He gave his girlfriend the black eye just because she was talking to another guy in the hall. Are you comparing me with that son of a bitch? Not one more swear word. Mom! Dad! <laughs> You've always told me to do the right thing, haven't you? Exactly. And that's what I've done, trying to prevent a friend from getting addicted to drugs and report a pervert. Now I'm asking you to call the police because they may be killing poor old people and you're not doing it. What's the point of doing the right thing when everybody insists on not believing you? Enough. I don't want to hear another word. Call your teacher, apologize to him, and let's wrap things up once and for all, mister. I'm not doing that, Dad. So there's nothing more to talk about. I'm going back in the kitchen. And don't you dare drag the sheriff into this again. But mom! Jeez. What? You're such a fool, son. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, dad. Thanks. I guess we'll have to take matters into our own hands. Can we call? Who can I call? Can we call? We can call the sheriff. It's too serious to not let Sheriff Silverstone know. But he's not going to believe me. Even my parents don't believe me. Just a moment. Got it. I'll pretend to be someone else. I'll use a deep voice. <coughs> Sheriff's office? You're lucky. You're lucky. Silverstone speaking. Uh -huh. Sheriff speaking. Uh, you have to go fast to 154 Oak Street. The killer of the elderly is... Huh? Billy Masters? You son of a- Ah, shit! <laughs> Damn, the sheriff is good! He could totally see through our fake voice. <clears throat> um, can we call anyone else now, maybe? Linus, answer the damn phone! <laughs> yes? What's up, dude? Hey, dude! How are you handling your arrest? I think the prisoners from Alcatraz are treated better. <laughs> Listen, Billy. I know you're calling me because your parents only let you talk to me. They, I am the only decent guy you know, that I'm the only decent guy you know. That's because they don't know I'm the one who draws dicks in the neighbor's fences. And that I don't really smell underwear that Mrs. Henderson hangs up on my way to high school. This kid's the pervert. Anyway, you don't have to call me if you don't want to. Don't worry, dude. We've known each other all our lives. We're friends, right? I uh, yes. <laughs> and why don't you say hi to me in the high school corridor? I don't know, maybe I'm in a hurry and I don't notice you. Uh, it must be that. Listen, Linus, I need you to call the police. What? I've seen a red van parked near the house of the Loomises. They said on the radio that the killer of the families uses the same one. Will you do that for me? Oh, uh, what do I have to do? Call the police, Linus. It's easy. It's three numbers. Uh, don't get upset, Billy, uh, but I think I don't, uh, do you think I'm making it up? Why, well, wouldn't be the first time. The whole thing about Mr. Brockman, you know, can I, can I do something else for you? You had a video camera just like mine, right? Yes, I asked my parents to give me one when I saw yours, but I haven't recorded anything yet. 
Well, I did record something. Oh dear. But it's private. <laughs> no, Linus. No one wants to know. Why are you asking? I need you to lend me yours. They confiscated my battery. I don't think they want me to lend it to you. Fuck your parents. Oh, they'll kill me if I take it out of the house, Billy. Hide it then. Where? It will, sh it will show if I hide it under the t-shirt. And it's all because of my mother who always buys me two sizes less. Call the police, please. Linus? Sorry, I was uh, hyperventilating. I just thinking about it. Ah, forget it. I'll go and look for it then. You come here? My parents don't even want to see you. If they want me to talk to you on the phone, it's because your parents insisted. Ugh. Let's do one thing. Throw it to me through the window. And what if you don't catch it and it falls down? My parents will kill you. I know. How about lending me just the battery? I already have the camera. I just need that to make it work. Hmm. I can hide the battery well. But how can I give it to you? If my parents see I'm going to your house, they will... I know, I know. I have an idea. I tell my parents I'm going out for a moment to get some air. A good lie, huh? What score on the Billy Master scale do you give it? Linus. Okay, okay. Uh, when I go out, I'll leave the battery on the plate where Sylvester eats. Arnold. This way I can get near. Ahem. Do you, do you know if Mrs. Uh, Henderson has the laundry hanging outside? I haven't noticed, Linus. Come on, I'll give you a couple minutes. Don't worry, the battery will be there. Oh, God, Linus is... Linus is definitely pervert confirmed. Okay, well, let's go get the battery. We still need to take the garbage out. Let's, let's, um, let's do that real quick. No, no, no. What now? Oh. The van is no longer there. Damn it. Now they'll think I've invented everything. Unless I investigate the house of the Loomises. Okay, hold on. Can we throw the bag in the garbage, please? It's high time I rid of that trash bag. <laughs> Just a moment. In the container, there is a dental floss box. It's unused. I'll take it. Mmm! Yeah, because you never know when you need some unused dental floss. Hold on, let's see if we can get in the garage. In order to access the battery holder, a tiny bolt has to be removed. Never mind, can I use the sharp thing on it? Doesn't fit the bolt head. Okay, so we need a screwdriver or something, so we can't do that. Let's... Oh, hey! Oh, hey, it's Arnold! It would rip my hand off in one bite if I tried to take away the figure of Captain Thunderball from it. Um, okay. Well, let's give him our food. I know Arnold very well. If I leave this there, he'll think it's a second dish and he won't let go of Captain Thunderball until he's done with it. So we need to make it irresistible? Can we tie dental floss to the chicken leg? Okay, maybe I just need to give it to him directly. Take it, Arnold. It's tastier than that lump of plastic. Oh, okay. Captain Thunderball. It's disgusting. And I won't get any... I won't get anything for it, and, and I'm too big to play with dolls. So long, Captain Thunderball. Before throwing it away, I'll keep the battery from the base that makes it talk. Okay. I'm assuming the battery is for the garage door opener, which we can't open, so... There's nothing here. Damn it, Linus! I've got it, loser! Oh, who's this? I seen how the greaseball was leaving something on the dog's plate. I thought you were going to compete with me and it was just a fucking video camera battery. You've been lucky. Give it to me, Larry. Do you want it? Do you really want it? Don't break my balls. Give it to me at once. I need to talk to you before that. I've been told you were the... I, I've been told you went to the police station, right? I hope you didn't shoot your mouth off. What are you talking about? About my business, idiot. If Silverstone comes by to my house to bust my balls, I swear on all the Gilligans, I'll ruin your life. I didn't go to the police station because of that. Oh yeah? It's about Brockman? And now give me the battery. And how can I be sure that you don't say anything else? You don't have a reputation for being very reliable. Give me that damn battery. And if I don't, then what? Huh? And if I don't, what? What are you saying? I haven't said, and if you don't, I thought I heard it. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> he gives it to us anyways. Now you're going to throw it to the Henderson's patio, right? Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't going to do that. Well, yes. 
Take your fucking battery! Do you think I was going to throw it to the Henderson's patio, huh? <laughs> well, I haven't. <sighs> Whatever. I'll be watching you, masters. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. <laughs> All right. We got our battery. Let's put it in the video camera. I can record now! Yay! Why, why, do, why do we need to record? Maybe we need to record something at the Loomis's. I guess we should just go over there. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, uh... Let's go on. Let's go check out the Loomis's house. Hey, guys. <gasps> he's a vicar? Oh, uh, he's, he's a priest or something? Or they're perhaps just highly religious? Can we look in the window? I can't see anything. All right, let's try the door. Ding dong. Hello? <gasps> Someone's home and not dead. Mr. Loomis? Mrs. Loomis? And I'm Billy Masters, your neighbor. Are you all right? <gasps> the lights went out. Um. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Nothing. <gasps> interesting. Very interesting indeed. Well, let's go back inside. We took the trash out. Maybe now Mom will talk to us about something that we need. Pass in front of the TV again. Yeah, I know, Dad. It's what I do. Mom. Mom. Yes. I thought you had an archery class today. I'm taking a break. And why is that? My teacher's in Europe taking part in a tournament. David, a young boy, is covering him. Tall. Handsome. Your father thinks I'm going more frequently because I have an affair with him. And, well, I stopped going there until Campbell is back in order not to listen to him. And do you have it? Do I have what? An affair with the substitute? For God's sake, Billy! Of course I don't have it! But Dad thinks so. He's so paranoid. And how do you feel? It's very frustrating when others don't believe you. Aha! Well, that's how I feel. <laughs> so why is it so hard so why is it so hard for you to believe me? Because your excuses make no sense. Look, Billy, I know you're going through a troubled period in your life. We've all been there. Teen years are like that. It's not about being a teenager, Mom. If I was 90 years old, I'd behave in the same way. That's what we want to avoid. What? That you behave like that for the rest of your life. I think you didn't understand me. <laughs> when are you going to lift my punishment? When you accept the facts, and you? When are you going to accept that what I'm saying is true? We've already had this conversation, Billy. But we haven't finished. What do you want to finish? Sure. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. The end! Snort. The van is no longer at the House of the Loomises. Enough, Billy. I don't want to know more about that. You will have it on your conscience. What are you talking about? About the death of the Loomises. I don't want you to listen to that ominous music, Billy. You're getting very macabre. What does music have to do with it? Ha, <laughs> forget it. I'm gonna get some air. Don't go too far. You're not allowed to do it. I know. Okay, can I use the sink to... Can I use the sink to clean off my spyglass? I won't be able to get out the ring from the sink with that. Wait, what? Mom? Yes? You dropped the ring in the sink. Ah, yes. Now don't worry, it's not the wedding one. It's the one made of bad metal your Aunt Betty gave me. I'll try to take it out when we finish dinner. Um, okay. Maybe that's what I need to use the floss for. I need something else to be able to get the ring out of the sink. Maybe the blade? Can I combine the blade with the floss? Okay, never mind. Anything in the bin? It's empty. Can I look out the window? If you want to get some fresh air, go outside. The perimeter of your confinement is up to the sidewalk. Thanks, Warden. Watch it, Billy. Oh, a wipe. Don't take it, I'm using it. Okay, can I just clean my spyglass with it? You're not going to clean it with the wipe. I am, why? It's the kitchen wipe. I'd have to soak it in bleach to use it again. And you're already giving me a lot of work. And what can I clean the lens with? I don't know. I have no time. Thanks, Mom. Let's talk to Dad. It's probably pointless, but why can I only call Linus? We think your change of attitude is due to your friends. We don't like them, Billy. Take a break from them. And do you like Linus? He's a healthy boy. Healthy? He only eats fast food. You know what I mean. He barely goes out, he reads a lot, greets his neighbors, especially Mrs. Anderson. Hmm, he's a good boy. <laughs> Why does Mum always make dinner? Pardon? Why don't you do it? Because I'm in charge of washing clothes. Washing clothes, ironing them, doing the shopping at the weekends, running the house economy. Shall I continue? 
No. You've lived in this house for 16 years and you still don't know how your parents share household chores. You wanted to preach at me, didn't you? No. Well, yes, but I didn't go well. But it didn't, it didn't go well. <laughs> I'm leaving. Dad, do you have a screwdriver I can have? Oh, we can go down the side of the house. Let's do that. <gasps> oh, a box. It's locked. A trap door. A chain closed with a lock goes through the handles. I can't go in there. And a window. The glass is too dirty to see through. Well, there's a hose. If I need water, I know where to use... <laughs> Use the hose on the window and clean the house. <laughs> One of the cables goes to the basement. Well, that's not good. Can I cut it? Metal pick with it? Oh! We can probably use the metal pick as a screwdriver. Why didn't I think of that? The tip of the pick fits perfectly. I'll try to unscrew it. There we go. The battery wasn't dead. There was no, there was no battery. Oh, okay. Why didn't I think of that? That would make so much sense. Okay, put the new battery in the garage door opener. It should work now. Okay. Garage opener. Open. Oh. Dad thought, Dad thought the garage door didn't work. I better not tell him the problem was in the battery of the remote. It could hurt his pride. But come to think of it... No, I don't want to be like him. <laughs> okay. Tools. Ha! Ah, there's only... There's only a saw handle without the blade. I'll take it. Okay. <gasps> Can we combine it with the metal blade? It fits perfectly. Now we've got a saw. Why do we need a saw? Maybe we need to use the saw on something over here. Oh, the chain. Use the saw on the trapdoor. I hope Mega Blade 3000 TM cuts as if it was butter. It did. Hey, you! Shit. Ah, well, well, Billy Masters, it couldn't be anyone but you, Mr. Gilligan. I have been observing you for a while from the porch. I knew you were up to something. I know what it looks like, but you have to believe what I tell you. Keep it to yourself what you have to say, Billy Masters. Everybody knows you're a liar. You've seen with my own eyes, you, you were sawing the lock on the bull Loomis's basement. Uh, you wanted to rob them, huh, scoundrel? First, you tried to ruin poor Mr. Brogman's reputation, and now you want to leave the Loomis's without their money? Damn junkie. Listen, Mr. Gilligan, we what? You don't try to be smart, masters. <laughs> we, we know Brogman caught you smoking pot in the high school bathroom. You know everything, right? Do you also know that it's your son who sells it? He has set up a business, and he earns more money than you in the whole month. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you don't know it. Nobody knows anything here. You're so busy with your knowing nothing that you don't notice what's going on in this shithole of a town. We have a pervert giving classes in high school, a dealer in the street, and probably some corpses in that house over there. And you don't give a shit about anything. I'm fed up with being judged and not being believed, so get back home or I'll... So go back home, or better still, fuck off. You know what, Masters? Uh, I was going to talk to your parents, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to call the police. Yes. Now do it, I beg you. You'll do me a big favor. Ah, uh, yes. I'll do it. Do it. You're mad, Masters. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> what in the world? All right, where were we? <laughs> it's open. Are we going to be able to see? <gasps> The floor is covered with water and rust. There must have been a leak in one of the pipes, which... Just a moment. What? What? What do you see? There are some marks here. It looks as if something had been dragged towards that door. Something like... The corpses of Mr. and Mrs. Loomis? Oh dear. The plot thickens. And there's so much things to look at. Great. I suppose we have to look at everything. Paint cans. I don't want to get dirty with paint. A bag. Arnold doesn't like cat food. I've tried to give it to him a couple of times. A box. Inside there's poor Milo's rubber toys. Okay. Toolbox. All the tools are rusty, except the screwdriver, which seems to be in good condition. Ha ha. Perfect. We probably could have used that earlier, but oh well. Papers. I'm not interested in any of those papers. A box. There are only black and white photos of people who are neither Mr. nor Mrs. Loomis. Interesting. Jars? Everything out of date. 
storage jars. I'm not hungry. And a suitcase. I can't reach enough. Let's see if by putting my hand... Uh-oh. Ouch! I got stuck with something. It's a fish hook. Oh, I'll keep it. Now we can get the ring from the sink by combining dental floss and the fish hook. Ha <laughs> ha! A bit improvised fishing rod, but it can be useful for me. <laughs> We're so smart. I know point and click adventure games. I know how they work. Washing machine? I don't know how to start it. I'll learn when I live on my own. <laughs> dirty, dirty. Hey! There's a kitchen cloth that seems to be clean. Ha! Uh -huh, now we can clean our spyglass. It's not enough to scrub the dirt, which. The cloth, I need something else. Maybe we need to get the cloth wet from the hose outside. I don't know. Cleaning products, maybe. There's a bottle of hydrochloric acid. I'll take it. Okay. Can we use the cloth with that? I put some hydrochloric acid on the cloth. Now use it to clean the spyglass. The cloth absorbs a part of the hydrochloric acid. I should be... I should be more drastic. What? What do you mean? Heater. Too many buttons for me. I'm not that smart. I don't know buttons. <laughs> Oh, it's locked. Of course it's locked, fool. Mm, okay, well, we've got new items, new things to try. Sh should we try the door? <gasps> they were right! Those bastards were happy! Uh, what? That old bat is not Mrs. Loomis. The killer of the elderly is an old lady. Something doesn't feel right. I have to be careful. I don't want to be discovered. What in the world? Can we use the hydrochloric acid? Is that... No, that's not chloroform. <laughs> okay, picture. It... I'd make a lot of noise. Can we use the cloth on her? I don't have enough cold blood to do it. <laughs> Apparently I do, though. <laughs> oh, there's a key. Can I use the thing? I can't reach it without her noticing my presence. Oh, I bet we have to cut power. We probably have to cut power. Okay, let's let's leave for the time being. Yeah, we need to open this somehow. Let's go. Oh, a screwdriver. Let's see if hmm, the door and the lock are made of plastic. I think I'll just force it. <gasps> it hasn't been subtle at all, but I've managed to open it. Oh, indeed we have. Oh, the cable doesn't move anymore, and I can't just join the two ends so that the electricity can pass. I think it works now. I better not touch it. So we need to find a way to repair this cable? All right, let's, let's, let's go get the ring. I know we can do that. I don't know why we need to get the ring, but it's something that we can do, so we might as well do it. All right, fishing gadget in the sink. Let's see how well I can manage. Carefully. I almost have it. Got it. I managed to get the ring. Thank you, Billy. You can keep it if you want. You don't want it? It's a bit too big for me. That's why I dropped it down the sink. <laughs> Besides, my finger turns green when I wear it for a long time. Your Aunt Betty said it was made of silver. Seems to me it's made of copper. So it's a copper ring. I don't remember how to got into my pocket. What? What? Wait a minute. If I look at the, look at the ring... I don't remember how it got in my pockets. Is that a Lord of the Rings reference? <laughs> I sure hope it is, because that would be amazing. So we have a ring that's made of copper. Do I have to use that in the, the fuse box somehow? Can I put the hydrochloric acid straight on the spyglass? I'll pour a drizzle carefully. Ah, good. The liquid has softened dirt and it comes off the lens. I should clean it with something. How about the cloth? I'll rub the lens with the cloth soaked in hydrochloric acid. Perfect. You can use it now. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, can I can I spy on the Hendersons now? Voyeurism is more typical of Linus. <laughs> Fine. I mean, never mind then. Okay, can I use the ring on this somehow? The metal ring will help to conduct electricity between the tips of the wire. Oh, I didn't realize the ring was that big. Holy crap. Marvelous. Now it gets energy. Okay. I really didn't think that was going to work. It's fixed. Great. What did we fix exactly? I mean, something in the basement. Something in the basement. Let's see. Is there something? Tell me. Were they happy? They were, right? I don't know what you're doing, old lady. What? Who's there? They are happy. They are. Ugh. Okay. Can I use the spyglass on the television? 
She'd how would she see you? Seriously. Can we use a video camera on this? Oh, trial number one. A stranger in the house of the Loomis. Although it won't be enough so that they believe me. The saying was a family friend. Do you, do you need to see the bait? That's exactly what I'll give them. The heck are you talking about? There's an old bat in the house of the Loomises. Margaret? It's not Margaret Loomis. It'll be her sister Louise. She often comes to visit her. Oh. There's an old bat in the house of the Loomises. Gray hair? Yeah. A little off? That's it. How do you know? It's Margaret Loomis, son. No, Dad, it's not her. Billy, please. Give me a break. Telephone. I can't see the num- Oh, the number. So the I do need to call it. I gotta use a spyglass on the phone. I hope the phone number is written on the dial. It can be seen well. Let's see. 555. Marvelous. I'll memorize it. Nice. Nice. Okay, now we can go call her. Maybe it'll distract her. Who can I call? Call the Loomis family. I have a better idea. Hey, what do you mean you have a better idea? Oh, I have Linus do it. <laughs> Lin Linus Point Dexter speaking. Hey, dude. Dude, what can I do for you? I need you to call the Loomises. And nothing. Because they're dead. Oh, uh, dead? Forget it. And listen to me carefully. Write this number down. 555 43 Two eight five 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 three. Uh, no 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 four three. Did didn't it start with a five? Yes. Let's see. Uh, five 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 four three two eight. Got it. Five 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 four three two eight. Good. When she hangs up, lean out the window. You'll see me enter the Loomis's basement. Wait five minutes and call that number. If they hang up, call again. If they pick up, try to keep that old bat on the phone as long as possible. An old bat? Mrs. Loomis? Miss Loomis is dead. Are you clear about what I said? Yes. What I'm not clear about is what you're up to with this. I have no time to explain it to you. Just just do what I told you, okay? Oh, okay. Anything else? Uh, no. I'm leaving. Bye. Okay. The game is afoot. We need the key, I'm guessing. We need the key. And then we gotta get into the basement. And now wait for Linus to call. Let's go, Linus. Ah. Thanks, Linus. Is she going to actually pick it up, though? I won't take it. <laughs> Shit. Just keep calling until she does. Damn it! <laughs> what? If I'm happy? Damn it, no! This is my chance. Grab the key. Mine. Better rush. I better rush off from here. <laughs> and you? Are you happy? Tell me where you live. <laughs> Don't do it, Linus. Don't do it. All right. Moment of truth. Time to unlock the door. The lock is unlocked now. In we go. I have a video camera ready to record the slaughter which happened in there. With a proof recorded on video, no one will be able to deny the reality. I have a, I have a feeling it's not what we think it is. <laughs> Good. Let's go. <gasps> There's no lights. Oh wait, there's a light switch right here. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> Mr. Loomis, Mrs. Loomis, thank God you're alive. I'll untie you right away and we'll get out of here. Nope. Someone is into the house. Not a single shop opened within a three kilometer radius. I told you everything would be closed this hour. I needed a light in that damn room, mom. I just wanted a light bulb. I can't do my work if I can't see shit. And why did you drag them there? It doesn't matter anymore. Help me get to them out. Shit. I'm getting help. Everything will be all right. Oh, we hear them through the vent? I know, I know. If I don't record it, they won't believe me. <laughs> Hold on, please. Where's the key? It's... what? It was there. Just a moment. I hear steps. Somebody is entered, Mom. Shit. No, no! Oh, God! <laughs> Earth! Hmm. Who has opened the door? Who the fuck has fixed the light? Murph! I've heard steps. Somebody has been here. Murph! <laughs> no? It doesn't matter now. With this light, I can work without problems. I'm going to think where to start. Don't worry. The head will be the last one. Fuck shit. Let's see. 
Hands? Better still, eyes? Mmm. Okay. Can we throw the hydrochloric acid at him? Courage, Billy. <laughs> you were there, eh? Take that. My eyes! <laughs> Dad! Where the hell have you been? Dinner's been ready for a while now. I was gonna look for you. Dad, call the sheriff fast! Oh, God. You're still into that? They're gonna kill the Loomises! Billy, it's over! I've got proof recorded on video right here. Uh-oh. No, don't answer, Dad! Don't do it! Hmm. There's an old woman out there. Can you tell me what you've gotten yourself into this time? Don't open. It's them. Who? I don't know. I don't know why I have to go through this. Dad, no! Silence! Oh, no. Can I help you with something, ma'am? It's her! I hope my son hasn't caused you any trouble. Hmm. Nice house. You're happy, right? I beg your pardon, ma'am. Shit. Oh, God. No. No. We, we don't want a problem, sir. We have jewelry and money. We are working in a house next door, and it seems that an intruder has broken in. He doesn't seem to be very smart. He's been leaving money and rusty traces to this house. Who are these people, Billy? Fuck, Dad. I've been telling you that the whole night. The killer of the elderly. Killer? You ungrateful brat. We free people from that delusion they call happiness. What? We don't kill them. We wake them up. We don't normally wake up such young people. But now we're forced to do so. <laughs> Tell us. Are you happy? Uh, happy? Of course we're happy. Very. No, we aren't. <laughs> oh, look at this house, son clean with all the comforts of the world, and it smells freshly made dinner. These people are very happy. You know what you have to do. Oh god, it'll be a pleasure, mom. Just start with your father, and then I'll make you pay for everything you've done to me, boy. <gasps> this is the teacher. Oh! What? Who? Mom! Don't worry, you despicable psychopath. Your mother is wide awake. Oh, God. Helen! I s My speciality is archery, but I can see I'm good at knives. Goddamn sons of bitches! I'm gonna have a wonderful time chopping your limbs. Billy Masters! You're arrested for breaking and entering. For heaven's sake! What the fuck has happened here? Frank! You son of a... Yo! The one with the mask! Drop the weapon! Not one step closer. Drop the weapon. I've said that. <gasps> oh, three shots. Oh. How are the Loomises? Good. Upset, of course, but all right. According to the Sil according to Silverstone, it was Gilligan who called the office, informing you were trying to break into the neighbor's basement. If it hadn't been for that gossiper, Frank wouldn't have shown up at the house. I hope you don't make me give thanks to that fool Gilligan. No, son, I, I think that, if not for you, our neighbors, you are a hero, Billy. You saved the lives of the Loomises, and we think we owe you an apology. I'd love to hear it. We've been very hard on you. We should have, we should have listened to you. You know, today I've realized a couple of things. The first one is that I have a son I don't deserve. And the second one is that I have a wife I'll be afraid of contradicting from now on. We were wrong about you, son. We hope you forgive us. Don't worry. And Billy? Yes? That thing with Mr. Brockman, it's true, right? I swear to you. Good. Wait here. <gasps> Is he going to speak for us? Masters, have you forgotten something? Yes, Silverstone. I want to talk to you about Mr. Brockman. And, well, you'll see, Sheriff. Billy Masters was right. And there you have it, guys. Billy Masters was indeed correct. No one believed him, but he was right. That was a lot of fun, actually. I really enjoyed that. It really reminded me of old retro point-and-click adventure games, which I am, which I love dearly. 
and have a special place in my heart. And I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure as well. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. I try to read everyone's comments and I try to respond to as many of them as possible. If you're new to the channel, remember Billy Masters was right. He was right about them and he was right about subscribing to my channel. So hit that button down there that says subscribe. See what happens. Nothing bad, I assure you. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon, and I'll see you in the next video.